beautiful day. We'll be heading towards the Keppel Islands where I'm really hoping to be able to pull out my new French box easel and have a paint on the beaches. So we're pulling up the motor off the back of the tender, getting ready to leave Gladstone and head up the Narrows and go and explore, head towards Great Keppel Island. Pretty excited about it. It's a beautiful day and absolutely perfect weather. We've had to time it so that we can do it with the tides because they have really, really low and really high tides. They have like four or five metre high tides there, uh, which we'll need. G'day! <laughs> Um, which we'll need to be able to get across the sandbars, basically. So we have to go at high tide to be able to make our way up through the narrows. I'm off to do a final load of laundry before we head off and uh, take, make the most of the facilities here at the marina. <laughs> hoping to be able to pull out my new French box easel and have a paint on the beaches and um, yeah basically just explore a new cruising grounds. We're dancing all around I woke up Where the sunrise on the sea It's such a precious gift to me The salty breeze And the waves The slow pace So I've finished all my admin and emails and computer work and now we're both a bit hungry so it's time to make some lunch and I'm going to make uh, Cookie and Kate, there's a website called cookieandkate.com, I love it, she's got great recipes. She's got a um, recipe for kale and coconut fried rice. So this is a new recipe I haven't tried before but I'm fairly confident because basically everything I've tried from her website has been lovely. We drove on there towards the coast It remembered me, the beauty of this life such a feeling to be alive. The salty wind. Lacey absolutely loves spotting dolphins and porpoises. It's like, it's almost as exciting as spotting kangaroos when we're traveling around in our van. She just goes crazy. <laughs> Day 
to be going through. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Get all the sunset in front of you. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, it's pretty shallow, isn't it? It's really, really narrow. So I don't know if you can tell, but um, there's this is the mark here, and then there's another mark just up here. I can see why they call it the Narrows. Um, it's probably the narrowest channel that we've been up in, or most definitely in Daydream. It's interesting because you really don't want to hit the bottom here, basically. You don't want to get stuck. But I think it's all going to be fine. No problem. It's been good planning. Andrew's read all the books. Oh, Lacey's trying to eat my carrot. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Keep reminding me to hold on in case we hit the bottom because I'm go falling over. This is very, very, very shallow. Oh, 1.9. We've got 10 centimeters underneath the keel. Oh, 1.8. Maybe we've got a little bit, tiny bit more. Lacey, come back here, darling. So if we were to get stuck on the bottom, if we basically hit a spot where it's too shallow and we couldn't get off it and the tide wasn't coming in anymore the boat would end up with the tide going out the boat would heel over and go like this and we would spend the night lying down on our side all night long we wouldn't be able to sleep you wouldn't be able to eat you wouldn't be able to do anything it would be extremely inconvenient would be the word <laughs> so we really don't want to be doing that it's a bit unusual seeing your boat going over green, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not really normal. Nah. We're very, very close to the mangroves as we go through. That's so weird, isn't it? So the green is where there's sandbars that come out when it's low tide. This here is where they actually cross the cattle. It's a cattle crossing. It's quite a notorious landmark in this part of the world because it's not very often that you can sail your boat across a place where they cross cattle at low tide. Andrew just called out to the local fishermen and asked if we were through the worst of it now and it sounds like we are so oh, we can breathe a sigh of relief. Um, that's an interesting experience. I don't think I quite understood how shallow it was going to be. this that really makes me want to paint. The sky, the sunset, the water, just makes me want to pull out my oil paints and brushes and have a play. It really, really fills up my well of inspiration. Actually, I've just ordered some watercolour paints, some different brands that I've never tried before, because I'm curious to see if I can develop a love for watercolours, because it would certainly be a lot easier than painting with oils on the boat. So. They should arrive. I've got them being sent to my friend Naomi Arnold's house and uh, I should be able to pick them up in the next couple of weeks. So I'll keep you posted about how that unfolds. Now, back to see how the fried rice is going. Uh, looks like the brown rice is cooked. We love to use a pr pressure cooker on the boat because it saves gas. Uh, we'll hold on to every second as the world is going round You always run with me Till my dream is clear You make every horizon yeah, my closer Then How's they that? appear <laughs> What do you call this, Charles? <laughs> time we descend, our love will be growing Every time I come upstairs it's more beautiful it's amazing, isn't it? Look at this beautiful sunset. I've almost finished my bowl of kale and coconut fried rice. I can't get it into me fast enough. It's definitely another winner. Thanks very much, Cookie and Kate. You're a dream. She makes good recipes for a boat, doesn't she? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so we've found a good spot to anchor. Okay. Well, I think all in all, that was a very successful day and 
thanks for joining us on our travels up through the Narrows. It was really nice to be able to show you these beautiful, beautiful scenery and landscapes that I just find so inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. It makes a really big difference. And uh, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on upcoming videos. I think this anchorage will do. Lacey, what do you think? Hmm? It's pretty beautiful, isn't it, hey? I love that sky. Amazing. Cerulean blue, a little bit of oh, Prussian or gray, Payne's grey down the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous.